All right. Hello, everyone. Hope your week's going well for you. Hope everybody's doing good. This video, I wanted to do a video to show how to uh, swap out your init system on DevOn. Now, if you've <clears throat> installed the latest version of DevOn, which is Beowulf, and only do this on Beowulf, don't try it on ASCII, or if you're still running Jesse, don't try it on Jesse. But <laughs> they offer, if you do the expert install, they offer the chance to choose between sys via init and you can also choose OpenRC. What's not listed is run it. And there was a distro review on DistroWatch just recently about Devlin and the reviewer, uh, Jesse. Jesse's a great guy. I've I've interacted with him through emails before and just a great guy, has a great sense of humor. But he had some trouble. Uh, he tried to get Run It working on Devlin. So I thought, well, let me show how it's done. I thought I would do this on a Devlin derivative instead of an actual Devlin. And for this demonstration, I've chosen Mio Linux. Let's see. This is this is a fresh install. I've installed what I needed to do the uh, video, and overwrote one of my existing partitions to do the video. And let me show you. This was a screenshot <clears throat> just to show what we're wor uh, working with. The RAM usage. Let me increase it just a little in case you can't see it. RAM usage after first boot, not the first boot, but after installing all the software that I wanted to put on the system for this video. I rebooted again and it booted up at 183 megabytes of RAM. So we're going to compare that with Run It. All right. So we're doing 183 megabytes of RAM at first boot with SysV init. And we are about to take the plunge. All right. Now, let me forewarn you. Before I do this, our internet here has been awful. Absolutely awful the last few days. And I don't know if the internet's gonna be connected when I actually try to install run it and I don't know if the internet will stay connected long enough <laughs> when I try to upload this video but we're gonna give it a go alright so let's open up our terminal and we will get started alright Let's see if I can increase the size, if I remember how. <laughs> there we go. I can do it. All right, what we need to do, first thing you want to, it's always good before you do something like this, update your system. I know the system's already updated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to install run it. And if we get a lot of errors about it's not able to download, I'm just going to keep the uh, video going, but I will go back and edit the video so you don't have to look at all the different <laughs> times I've tried. All right, here we go. sudo um, apt install run it dash init here we go all right we have these <laughs> it's telling you what's going to be removed these items here are no longer needed. Um, 
Here's the additional packages that will be installed. And these will be removed. Oh dear. All right, now we get this really, really scary warning right here. You're about to do something. I love this warning. <laughs> You are about to do something potentially harmful. To continue, type in the phrase, yes, do as I say. <laughs> All right, so let's type in the phrase, yes, do as I say. <laughs> now here's where it's going to get scary for me because I don't know if my internet's really connected or not. So we're going to try it. Here we go. All right. Looks like it downloaded. <laughs> Do it. Do it. There's removing all the packages and unpacking the ones that's downloaded. Come on, baby, you can do it. <laughs> All right, so now here's the hard part. You have to reboot your computer. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reboot the computer. I'm going to stop the video. Thank goodness the internet was working. I'm going to stop the video and I will come back when I have booted into run it on devwin slash Mio Linux. <laughs> Be right back guys. Alright, we're back guys. Now it took me a little while to get everything set up. I went ahead and pulled up uh, some items that I wanted you to see and the first one we'll look at <clears throat> this was the uh, screenshot after first boot and you can see that's actually a little less not much a little less than it was on sys via net <coughs> that CPU a little higher right there but it did I mean just a few seconds <laughs> after I took the screenshot it fell down to like one and two percent so I wanted you to see that now when you first boot into it or every time you boot into it you're not gonna see a lot you know you get those messages going down through the console when you boot up your computer you're not gonna see a lot that even mentions run it so I went into the file manager var log boot this is that is what this is right here var log boot and here you can see we're having run it mentioned just a few times and another way to show that it's <clears throat> using run it now we will we will run this. I don't know if you can hear my stomach growling, but I'm starving. <laughs> I need something to eat. <laughs> Let me increase the font size again. And we'll do this. Uh, let's see. Cat. P-R-O-C. The number one. And C-O-M-M. -M. And you can see there we're running run it now. Now, basically, uh, there's really nothing else you really need to do. Devlin has really made the process really easy. Other than that, there's really nothing else you have to do. I mean, it it works just like everything else. Uh, so Devlin joins the Run It gang. There's a few. There might be more distros that use Run It than I'm aware of. 
I know there's Void and Artix. Those are two of the most popular ones. Venom Linux. I love Venom Linux. Uh, a source-based distro. They just recently switched over to run it. If you want a source-based distro that's easy to install and easy to use, check out Venom Linux. Uh, there might be others. Like I said, I'm really not sure. But that's all there is to it. This It's not really a big deal at all. You just install run it dash init. After that finishes, reboot. Now I do want to point out, uh, like here, uh, I use this reboot and it actually shut down the computer instead of rebooting. But after that initial time, all this works, you know, just like it should. So if you want to use Run It on Devlin, there you go. That's how it's done. No big deal. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys have a great uh, rest of the week coming up, and take care. Thanks.